Good morning, I'm Caroline Corgan with your Channel 3 Fast Cast. Chattanooga fire crews are trying to find out what caused a deadly fire at a subdivision yesterday. Firefighters say they discovered a person inside a home on Stonecrest Drive. The house has been declared a total loss. We're working to learn more about the identity of the victim this morning. A man police believed killed a woman in Hickson back in January has been brought back to Hamilton County. Cameron Leslie was captured in Jacksonville, Florida last week. Leslie is accused of strangling 30 year old Tasha Whiteside. He's been charged with first degree premeditated murder. If convicted, he could face the death penalty or spend the rest of his life in prison. And Chattanooga City Council members have put off a vote on dockless e-scooters. Council members added an amendment to a proposal that would allow the scooters in certain areas downtown. The new amendment adds a few words to a section that removes liability from the city if someone is hurt on those scooters. A final vote is expected next Tuesday. Now take the news with you in your WRCB app and check back with us throughout the day. I'm Caroline Corgan. That was your Wednesday morning channel three fast cast.